Guys, if somebody has a case of watering eye, you want to check if there is an obstruction for the drainage of the tears, right? So what you can do, there are a lot of tests, okay? For uh, evaluation of a watering eye, you can do ocular examination, you can do regurgitation test, you can do fluorescein dye disappearance test, lacrimal syringing you can do, isn't it? A lot of things you can do and one of the tests is also the Jones dyes test, okay? So when you suspect a partial obstruction of the nasal lacrimal duct, you can see here, where is the nasolacrimal duct? Somewhere here you will have, um, this is the nasolacrimal duct, isn't it? So if you suspect that this duct is obstructed partially, then you can do this Jones test. It's called as Jones dye test, okay? There are two tests here, test 1 and test 2. So basically test 1, you can see they are just putting a dye, right? So what they are doing here, just two drops they are putting, two drops of what? They are putting two drops of 2% fluorescein dye. They are instilled in the conjunctival sac, right? So conjunctival sac is where here, between the palpebral conjunctiva and the bulbar conjunctiva. So here they are putting two drops of fluorescein dye. And here in the inferior meatus, in the opening, they are keeping a cotton bud, which has been dipped with xylocaine. I am thinking as an anesthetic or something, they are keeping a xylocaine dipped uh, cotton bud here in the inferior meatus at the opening of the nasolacrimal duct. So here the bud, I am thinking it goes up till here. Now what happens? After 5 minutes, the cotton bud they will remove and they will check. Okay. If there is, um, uh, the dye has come here, then it is positive test. It's That means there is no obstruction as such, isn't it? So how long you will wait guys? 5 minutes, right? Then you will check the cotton bud for dye stain. If there is stain of the dye, it indicates that there is adequate drainage through the lacrimal passages. And um, so the cause for watering of the eye of this person could be hypersecretion by the lacrimal gland. You now know that there is no obstruction, right? No obstruction, that much you have understood. Now what if the cotton bud did not get stained? <clears throat> Somewhere there is a block. Where is the block? Is it in the puncta? Where exactly is the block? You don't know, but there is a block. This negative can also mean that there is no block, but the pump mechanism which has to pump into the system is has failed. So negative can mean that there is pump failure or there is obstruction. It can mean two things. So test one, Jones dye test one, Jones dye test one. If it is negative, it can mean two things. Either the pump has failed or there is obstruction. Now what you do, you go to Jones test 2. What is there in Jones test 2? Jones, Jones test 2 is a little strange. They are doing some syringing, okay? And then they are seeing if the dye is reaching, okay? If they are doing syringing and the dye is reaching, what does it mean? This is a positive test, okay? So there was some partial obstruction. Now the obstruction has gone, so the dye has reached. Okay, so partial obstruction removed. Positive means always the uh, dye is reaching the cotton bud. What is negative? Even after you do syringing, it did not come means what? Some lacrimal pump failure. So pump failure, so uh, it is basically a pump failure because you have done syringing and still there is some problem. But what if the net, so lacrimal duct itself is obstructed here? But anyways, just now you remember this, okay? Now, one is negative means it either is there is some obstruction Partial obstruction only they are suspecting, right? So here in this they are suspecting only partial obstruction, okay? So the dye has to reach. That is what they were expecting, okay? So that makes sense now, guys. So here it uh, it means that there is pump failure or partial obstruction. So what they did, then they did syringing. Syringing after syringing also it did not re uh, reach, okay? So it means that there is pump failure, okay? So here we will write the first one negative means. It means pump failure or partial obstruction and uh, if the second Jones test fails, it means pump failure. So, it is pretty clear now, right? Because you suspect only a partial obstruction. You don't suspect a complete obstruction. So, this kind of makes sense, right? That's it, guys. This is Jones dye test for clinical evaluation of a case of watering eye. Bye-bye.